Hello everyone! After a very hot summer, I remembered that Christmas is still coming and that I have to return to my set of Christmas felt ornaments. And if you are not familiar with this set, I already made a review. I have a set of 12 Christmas ornaments dedicated to the 12 days of Christmas. And this is Biusilla felt applique kit. I will leave you a link to my re video review and also to this kit on Amazon. I'm always in love with Biusilla kits and I made myself a promise that I try to finish at least 6 or 7 or ornaments from this kit. And of course, I want to do all of them until Christmas, but we will see, because they are quite time-consuming. So far, I finished 5 of them. In my previous video, I already show you my first 3. During summertime, I finished also 4 with 4 uh, singing birds. I decided to skip 5th with uh, five golden rings, because it's not very interesting, I decided to do it later. And in today's video I will show you how I did a geese. I love these little kids, I love how their ornaments and Christmas stockings look when I decorate my room and my Christmas tree. They are always bright and nicely shining, thanks to the, all the sequins and birds. And I'm quite happy that in this set I have 12 different ornaments, because if you're familiar with Bucilla kids, usually they have 6 ornaments in each kit, and usually they are Three different designs repeated two times. And this one is a really nice set because, as I said, we have 12. And I always loved ev everything connected with this nice sweet thing about 12 days of Christmas. I think that I already completed uh, four or five sets and now I have uh, quite a big experience how to see them more quickly, more efficiently and easily. So my first rule, I try to first to stitch everything and to apply sequins before I cut details for each ornament. It's much easier to do embroidery and to apply sequins before you cut small details, because sometimes they are, these details really are quite tiny. Sometimes I just watch something on TV and in the same time I embroider everything with green threads, then I sew uh, all green sequins, then I switch and apply all white sequins and in this way in the end I have all my details prepared and I'm ready to the most interesting and fascinating part when I just have to assemble all parts together. I have another small advice for you. In this set we have two different needles included. One is bigger and Bucilla suggests uh, to use it for embroidery and also for sewing parts together. And the smallest needle is for beds and sequins. But I prefer to use bigger needle only for embroidery. And I prefer to sew everything using smallest needle. In this way my stitches are strong and they also look very neat. I'm happy with the quality of the felt 
and threads included in the set. Sometimes I am not very happy with the quality of the beds, but at least I have plenty of them, so I can um, select which one I prefer to use, because sometimes they are of different size, but it's uh, not a big fault. I think that all Bucilla kits are suitable even for beginners, because in each set we have a very nice, very detailed step-by-step -step instructions in different languages. We also have graphic chart, how to assemble, how to do embroidery, how to do different stitches. So don't be afraid, just select a set from a big variety of different sets which Bucilla have. They also have beautiful sets for Halloween, for Easter, but I think that their Christmas decorations, they have dresses, Christmas stockings and set of Christmas or tree ornaments, they are absolutely beautiful. Everything you need for finishing these ornaments is already included in the kit. You will need only some kind of polyester filling for stuffing and also nice scissors with nice thin tips because it's important to, to be careful and to cut every details very precisely to get rid of these black borders, black lines. So the quality of your scissors is really important. Assembling all details together is my favorite part of creating these ornaments. You can see that I use this bedded needle and I try to do the tiniest stitches. This geese is one of the easiest ornaments in the whole kit. Many other ornaments have bigger quantity of details and also details are even smaller than this one. I am always almost ready to start um, gathering all parts together, but I also wanted to show you what I added to this design. For each of the six leaves I added second parts to cover the back side where I 
stitched and applied sequence. I think that when I stitch two parts of leaves together, my ornament will look more accurate and more tidy. I don't know why Bucilla didn't suggest it to make every leaf from two parts, but I think that it's a nice addition to this ornament. So if you doing the same kit i also suggest you to do the same thing i just cut second parts from the rest of the green felt and i was lucky that it has enough of the spare space for me to cut at least uh, six second parts of leaves And this is my finished ornament for the six geese I laying. Now in total I have five finished ornaments. Maybe I will return to the ornament number five with golden rings. Or maybe I will switch to the ornament number seven with Sven. But anyway I hope to show you my progress in a couple of weeks. And remember that we still have plenty of time so if you before Christmas and if you love this set you also will have enough time to finish maybe not all ornaments but at least half of them. Thank you for watching and I hope that you don't mind that I will add another videos to my channel about my preparation for Christmas. See you guys, bye!